but what we are looking at is the gift of the spirit called the gift of faith faith that's what we are looking at what we are talking about is this gift of god of the spirit that is imparted that is what is imparted in a believer to do impossible things now we have pistis as faith in the bible pistis as faith it talks of conviction that's the greek word it talks of what conviction conviction it talks about belief you have this conviction that god is god this conviction that god will come through for you a conviction a, a belief that is captured as pistis but when we are looking at the gift of faith i want you to see it as a kind of ability that god imparts in a christian that makes the hand of god to move is a persuasive ability that persuades the hand of god to manifest in something that naturally may not have solution and the greek captures it as pieto to persuade to persuade the finger of god to manifest to persuade the hand of god to be revealed now the gift of faith is a kind of faith that does not take no as an answer is a stubborn faith is a rugged faith it does not consider natural events it does not consider how what is being said or what is what the body is feeling or what is being seen or what every other person is saying but what he considers is what god has said. so this kind of faith is stubborn once he captures what god has said he stands there and not going to move until what is said is being made manifest that is this gift of faith now a man that has the gift of faith does not pay attention to what people are saying does not pay attention to what science is saying does not pay attention to what the environment is saying does not pay attention to what his life his body is saying does not pay attention to what family is saying does not pay attention to what foundation is saying he only pays attention to what god has said and once that is captured the one that has collected this gift stands on it until there is a physical manifestation now listen to me you need to understand this you need to understand it you need to understand it it is the holy ghost that imparts this gift in a believer he gives this gift to a believer eh? that is come sir if this is my, in the hand of god this is the hand of god you cannot move it you don't have what it takes to move my hand talk to me so the holy ghost comes and puts something in your hand like a key that once that thing enters your hand you can move my hand talk to me are you with me the gift of faith is what the holy ghost puts in us in a believer that gives him a persuasive ability to persuade the hand of god this is the kind of faith that moves mountain it's not the normal faith it's not given to every believer that is imparted by the spirit for instance as we begin to look for it and as we are hearing this teaching it can be imparted because one of the things that like i told you all these gifts are available the first thing is knowledge what did i say we saw it in verse 1 of first corinthians chapter 12. we saw in verse 1 that paul said, i wouldn't want you to be ignorant of this spirit so knowledge first of all begins to activate all these gifts so when you are beginning to learn it are you with me as you are learning it as you are hearing it and learning it the platform that permits its oppression is given to you that's why you need to pay attention as we teach these giftings because if you don't know about it you cannot work with it it is knowledge first of all that activates all these giftings all of them knowledge all of them the nine of them knowledge then but because they are peculiar and and and, um, and 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 separate there are other keys also unlocks them but the primary key is what knowledge because paul said i do not want you to be ignorant and then the next thing he said i would want you to desire 
So you see that knowledge and quest. Are, are you with me? But in each of these giftings of the spirit, there are other keys. So it's an impartation that the Holy Ghost imparts in a believer that gives him what it takes to move the hand of God. You cannot move the hand of God on your own. You can't move God's hand when he doesn't want to move. But the Holy Ghost comes and puts something in you that makes you to move God. That is the gift of faith. Do you understand it? See that, sir. Oh.